So our clock is kind of cool, but it's a little bit doofy that it keeps printing the time on a new line. It would be cooler if it just kept updating the time in one place. So we didn't get a string of times with a new line for every second. It's kind of a, a something that we may not know how to do off the top of our head. And so this is a great opportunity to introduce Stack Overflow. And in general, internet searches as the key to coding. Whenever I come across something I don't know how to do, I go to a browser, I go to a search engine, and I type in, how do I do X, Y, Z? And I get a bunch of results. Often, maybe half the time, that answer will be on a website called Stack Overflow. It's a specific place where people can go and pose coding questions, and then other people come and pose answers, and then people can chime in and say, I got that too, but I tried this other thing differently, and they vote them up and down, and the most popular answer tends to be the best one. And it's a great community resource for finding out how to do oddball random things like printing new lines without adding a new line each time. So in this case, I did a search and I came up with this page, how to overwrite the previous print to standard out in Python. So standard out is the console or whatever window you're working in to get uh, to run your Python program. And we don't want to print a new line, we want to overwrite the previous line that we printed. So here is someone you can see they posed the question, hey, I ran this code and I got an output of one, two, three on different lines. Instead of printing a new line, I want to replace the previous value and overwrite it with a new value on the same line. And then we come down here and we see someone answered. There are a bunch of answers, 16. This one has a green check mark meaning that it was accepted by the person who answered the question as the best answer. And it also has 134 upvotes, meaning a lot of people saw it and said, hey, this is a good answer. Like, this should be near the top. Simple version, use the carriage return, which is a quote backslash R character to return to the start of a line without advancing to the next line. And it shows us here how it would do this. We haven't talked about what for means yet, but this right here is the part we care about. So print the thing that we're interested in, comma, end equals quote backslash r quote. Very cool. We may not know yet exactly why this works or exactly what it's doing, but now we have a solid lead on what to do to get what we want. We can do a little more searching, and fortunately, Python is documented really well. There is a list of all of the built-in functions available. So these are all of the things that come with your core basic Python before you've imported any kind of libraries. One of these, is the print that we've been using. So we can look and get some more detail on what's going on there and figure out why this Stack Overflow answer gets us what it does. So the official documentation for print here is fairly brief, fairly compact, but we'll go ahead and step through it. So when we call print with parentheses after it, the print function, this shows us a few different arguments or things that we can pass to it. You can think of functions like recipes and the arguments are like ingredients. They're the flour and the sugar and the eggs and the milk that you provide and then the function takes them, mixes all up and bakes them at 350 for 20 minutes and gets you a cake. So this list of arguments is a list of ingredients. In print, this objects with an asterisk before it, um, it says you can give it uh, just a list of anything to be printed. So we've printed floating point numbers, we've printed strings, but we can pass it anything we want and it'll try to turn it into a string and print it. Then there's a comma, then it says 
here are some other ingredients, here are some other arguments that you can provide if you want, but if you don't, I will provide them for you and here's what I'll give you. So for instance, we can provide a SEP to print. If we don't, SEP will be a, see this quote, space quote, it'll be the space character. What this means is that if we give it several objects, for instance, if we say print variable one, comma variable two, comma variable three, and then we say sep equals space, it'll put a space between each of those. But we could make that be anything you want. We could make it be a comma, we could make it be a backslash, we could make it be a smiley face. We can use anything, any kind of separator we want there. But if we don't, it will go ahead and default to a space which is a great separator, so we probably don't need to worry about that. So here we see the default end character at the end of each thing we print is a backslash n. That's what we're seeing when we print the time and then it ends with a new line. And so the next time we print, it starts at the beginning of the next line. That's the behavior that we don't want. Now, the, the answer that we found in Stock Overflow says instead of taking the default backslash n, use end equals backslash r, the carriage return character, which takes it back to the beginning of the line, but the same line. It doesn't take it down to the next line. So whatever it prints next, it'll write over whatever it was that we printed before. It'll copy right over the top of it. This makes sense now why that solution backslash r does what we want it to do. And this explains a little bit better what's, what's going on there. This arrangement of having arguments to a function have first the arguments without defaults, then the arguments with defaults. And those are called keyword arguments because you can say, give me end equals backslash r and end is the keyword. So you can call those out individually and you can provide one or none or all of them and in any order, you don't have to worry about it. The ones without defaults, you have to provide in the order that they're provided. So they're also called positional arguments. So in our case, we will provide our positional argument, which is our string that describes the time, hour, minute, seconds, and then we'll provide a keyword argument, end equals backslash r. So single quote, backslash r, single quote. We are free to use single quotes or double quotes. They both tell Python that this is a string. You can use them interchangeably. Make sure, however, not to use your back tick which is right under the tilde, usually in the upper left corner of your keyboard. That's different than a single quote. The single quote's the one right underneath the double quotes, right next to the enter key. So single or double quotes around our character backslash r. Another tidbit here is backslash r is not actually what gets printed. The backslash says, hey, I'm gonna print a thing here that's not actually a character. Um, in this case, it's the carriage return. We also saw the backslash n, which means new line. These are called escape characters. They are things that don't look like characters on the string on the screen, but they tell the print function to do something a little bit different. So a lot of details coming together to make this one seemingly simple thing happen. Um, that's okay, that's normal, and it's also normal if you feel like there's a lot of balls in the air, a lot of loose ends coming together to make this happen. Step back and walk through it as many times as you need to until it sits well, until you see the pieces come together. But the important lesson to take away from this that will bless you your entire programming career is don't hesitate to internet search for it and go to Stack Overflow. It's not right 100% of the time or helpful 100% of the time, but it is an excellent resource. Now, when we run this, we see that exactly as we hoped, each time after it prints, it sleeps for a second, 
it jumps back to the beginning of the line before it prints the next one instead of jumping to a new line below. This now gives us a pretty little clock. It'll tell us what time it is. Tell us if it's five o'clock somewhere. 